Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinol Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 38 to 44. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogue of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. This good news that Jesus is instructing all of us to proclaim is that death will never conquer life. That even the greatest darkness gives way to even the smallest spark of light. This message of the risen Christ is especially needed today when seemingly there is no end in sight of this COVID-19 scourge. However, even within these dark days, there are glimmers of hope in humanity shown through the heroic and charitable acts of everyday people, not to mention the healthcare professionals selflessly serving their brothers and sisters. This is the gospel message made manifest, that no matter the hardship, there will always be those who keep in mind the well-being of others. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and resilient day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.